Rachel Reeves has issued a stark warning about the state of the NHS, claiming the upcoming budget won't be enough to repair years of damage to the health service. Just days before the budget announcement, Reeves criticized the government, emphasizing that even with tax hikes and increased borrowing, it may be impossible to reverse 14 years of neglect in a single budget. Chancellor Jeremy Hunt is expected to allocate billions to the NHS, including a £1.5 billion investment in new surgical hubs and diagnostic scanners and £70 million specifically for radiotherapy equipment. Health Secretary Wei Streeting acknowledged that transforming the NHS would take time, but he noted that this funding aligns with Labour's goal to deliver an extra 2 million NHS appointments annually. Since July, £1.8 billion has been designated for elective care appointments, with the Treasury promising additional funding for technology upgrades to increase productivity within the NHS. Reeves, however, has cast doubt on whether these measures alone can fix the NHS. The Chancellor himself admitted that a single budget can't undo over a decade of issues but said this budget would provide essential resources to fulfill manifesto promises. Reeves highlighted Labour's plan, which aims to enable 40,000 additional appointments weekly and reduce the overwhelming backlog. She also emphasised the need for increased NHS capital investment, which would reach its highest level since 2010, to fund new scanners and radiography equipment. During a visit to St George's Hospital in London, Reeves remarked that staff are still relying on outdated equipment, some of which dates back to the last Labour government, affecting both productivity and efficiency. Reeves declared Labour's intention to be known as the government that rescued the NHS from its worst crisis, positioning it for a stronger, more sustainable future. As the budget unfolds, all eyes will be on whether these investments can truly bring the change the NHS urgently needs.